Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video, we are going to study the decimation in time radix to FFT. So let us see what is radix to FFT and how it is performed. In decimation in time algorithm, the time domain sequence x of n is decimated and smaller point DFTs are performed. The results of smaller point DFTs are combined to get the result of n point DFT. Now we are going to see that in DIT radix to FFT, the time domain sequence is decimated into two point sequence. For each two point sequence, the two point DFT is computed. The result of two point DFT are used to compute four point DFT. A pair of four point DFT results are used to compute one eight point DFT. This process is continued until we get n point DFT. In general, we can say that n point DFT can be realized from two numbers that is n by 2 point DFT. The n by 2 point DFT can be realized from two numbers of n by 4 point DFTs and so on. For proving this, let x of n be n sample sequence. We can decimate x of n into two sequences of n by 2 samples. Let the two sequences be f1 of n and f2 of n. Now let f1 of n consist of even numbered samples of x of n and f2 of n consists the odd number of samples of x of n that can be stated as f1 of n is equal to x of 2n that is even number samples and f2 of n is equivalent to x of 2n plus 1 that is odd number samples where n ranges from 0 to n by 2 minus 1. Let x of k represent n point dft of x of n. f1 of k represent n by 2 point dft of f1 of n. And similarly, f2 of k n by 2 point dft of f1 of f2 of n. Now we are going to see by definition of dft, the n by 2 point dft of f1 of n and f2 of n are given by f1 of k is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to capital N by 2 minus 1 f1 of n w n by 2 k n and similarly f2 of k is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to capital N by 2 minus 1 f2 of n w n by 2 raised to k n. Now the n point dft x of k in terms of n by 2 point dfts f1 of k and x2 of k is given by x of k is equivalent to f1 of k plus w and k f2 of k. This formula is very important where k ranges from 0 to n minus 1. Let us prove this. 